It's strange that everybody likes Star Wars, and then a lot of people love Star Wars. And the people who love Star Wars are the people who then created the world as we know it today. I like the idea we've got a day, May the 4th, you know, it's ours. It's Star Wars fans day. So I wear my shirt, I'll take my helmet out, you know, uh, there'll be other people like me running around the city. We're everywhere, we walk among you. To me, what's really beautiful about what happens at this party is that the guests honor their favorite moments in sci-fi. So when you walk into the event, you absolutely get that feeling of walking into the Star Wars cantina. The very first movie sets it all up. It's like a great hero story with great fantasy. It's this mystical thing called the Force. Like they even work really hard at calling it the Force. It's just a lot of fun. I love that they're making a new Star Wars movie. If they just make a fun movie that will remind people of why they liked Star Wars in the first place, I think it'll be awesome, and I trust it. Uh, I remember that, that first time um, seeing Star Wars, I remember um, going to the theater when uh, Return of the Jedi came out, and it was like a big deal. People had camped out for like days. And it was just like the biggest thing ever, and this is gonna change our world, and um, it kind of did. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.